all right guys so next up is tesla or tsla i have my lines and graphs already set uh that being our support and resistance lines and this uh, also helps us find our targets our entries and all that good stuff okay uh and you guys bear with me i am sick i'm gonna make this as fast as possible because i am just not feeling well at all so uh please bear with me okay uh, so right now I'm on the one hour chart. Usually I'll start at the daily chart, but I want to be able to show you guys uh, that we are underneath this resistance line, what used to work as support. Let me just go to the daily real quick, you guys. Uh, so I told you back here, this is when I uh, last did my update. I told you guys that we would be pulling back down to this major support line at the $600 level and that this could be a great entry um, if we can hold that support. And you guys can clearly see that we did not hold this support. We actually broke below this and created a new low uh, within this time frame over here. So we're actually underneath the support now. It's going to work as resistance, okay? So now what we have to do is, let me go to the one hour chart. Uh, if we want to get into this specific stock, we want to at least wait until we can break above this resistance line because you guys have to respect these lines, okay? If I go back in prior, packs, prior price action history, we can see that these levels have been tested heavily okay so we have to respect these lines all right uh we are below this trend line so we are in this downward trend even on the rsi it shows that we are super oversold but doesn't look like we're correcting anywhere on that part um on the pre-market we're up almost two percent for the morning and we closed yesterday almost five percent at the volume we have 469 so that's a lot more than we usually have in uh pre-market for tesla uh the, uh, the market's gonna open here in about 30 minutes okay you guys so what we want to see is for us to break above the 600 dollars level you guys if we can break above that come up and come back down and retest this support it'll show that buyers are stepping up and that buyers are in control and that we're trying to continue this upward trend if we can break this downward trend okay so as of right now getting in would not be the smartest idea because your first target would be back up here at the 600 dollar level and uh, obviously we don't know if we can break past this because we can hit this level and get rejected and pull all the way back down to our next level of support which is uh, let me probably have to go to the daily so you guys can see that more clearly all right well my, my computer froze so other than that like i said we want to break above the 600 dollar level and come back down and retest it as a uh, floor uh, if we do that then that could be a great entry have your stop loss on the opposite side of that 600 dollar level maybe have it at 595 and then set your first target to whatever you're uh, you're planning on risking or uh, trading with okay but other than that i hope you guys have a beautiful day and happy trading